Hello everyone, welcome back to part two of the lighter build. So last we left off, I had to do a little finish sanding on this and JB welded in, which I did, and I put a little initial polish on it so you can see how that's coming out. And right now we're going to test it out. So we got our wheel. Got our flint and our spring. Awesome. So that works great. So now the next step is I have this brass rod here. I just cut a little tiny piece off. So we're going to fit that in and I left it I guess about a sixteenth or thirty second sticking out and we're going to peen that down okay I don't think I'm going to go flush I think I'm going to leave a little peen ball on the end so that's the next step and then like I did with the um pocket knife if you watch that video I'm gonna put a little spacer in there to make sure when I'm peening this down I don't squish this and get the wheel stuck so let me get this set up over to the uh, anvil and we'll do a little peening all right so I have it set up with uh, the feeler gauges in there and uh, we're gonna start peening it up All right, so you get the idea. Um, I won't bore you watching me tapping that for uh, 10 minutes, and I'll bring you back when that's done. All right, so we're over at the polishing wheel, so I'm gonna give these, after they were peened, a little polish. Then I'll bring you back over to the table and give you a close-up. All right, let me get over to the table and uh, we'll finish putting the spring and the, the flint in and uh, I'll show you what the next part is. All right, so we have that ground down, not ground down, peen down. Came out nice, a little polish on that. Let's put on uh, our flint. All right, so that works perfectly. I'm very happy with that. I'm loving the look of that. Um, next, we got to make the body. We have to determine how long we want the body and um, how we're going to plug up the end. So I know how I'm going to do the bottom end. Okay, I have to take a couple threads and grind that down to fit the bottom. And then we'll have this little cap on the end. Then on the top, the plan is to drill a hole through a little piece of this rod. It's a a brass bolt um, and then to take to take this nut and grind this down small enough that it fits in there so make it a circle and then to solder all three of these pieces together so the wick can go in so the first step is I'm going to um, grind this down and make it as close as I can to a circle to fit in the end there all right, so I just put the nut on the end of um, another bolt and nut so I can hold it, and I'm just going to start grinding away. All right, so you get the idea. I'm going to get this down to the size that will fit in there and uh, bring you over and show you the next step. All right, so we have that ground down, and it fits right in the end of there. 
So we're good on that. Next thing we have to do is drill a hole to accept the wick in here, and then we'll cut this off at the length that we want, however much we want it to stick up. So we're going to drill the hole first, and then we'll cut that off. So let me set up on the drill press. All right, so I have the stud in a uh, my little jig that holds it, and I'm going to drill the hole right down the middle. All right, now you got to make sure the wick will fit in there. If not, I have to enlarge it. So let me grab the wick and we'll try it out. All right, so I have a wick here. We want to see if this fits in here. Looks good. So now the next thing we're going to do is figure out what length we want this and then trim it off. So I'll, uh, I'll bring you over to the table where we can get a better look. All right, real quick before I take you over to the table, uh, I want to make the, the tip of this a little bit smaller and uh, grind off a couple of the first threads. I'm just going to clean that up with some uh, sandpaper, and I'll bring you over to the table and show you what we look like. All right. So we have this little finial end, I guess you want to call it, that's going to go in the end of here. I don't want to press it in too far. Then we have our nut screw. Let me pull that out. Let me put it in from this way. Now we just have to figure out how far up we want that. And that's going to be determined, hopefully we can get this nut on here. Let's pull this out. This is going to end up being the cap to put the wick out and to keep it sealed. So I think that's a good distance because there's plenty of room in there. And then we're going to grind that down. Hopefully, uh, there's enough meat in there when I grind this down to um, not go through. Otherwise, we've got to come up with another plan. But I think this will work. So it gives me a good number of threads to grab onto. I just want to double check. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So the next step is I'm going to cut that off right there. So I'll just do that with a hacksaw and then I'll bring you back. All right, so we had that cut off. Fits right in there. And then this end is going to go in here. And that's where our wick is going to come out. And then our cap is going to go on there. So it's looking good. Um, next thing we're going to do is, I'm just going to cut a piece of this off, a little bit longer than I suspect I need. I'm going to probably cut it off about there. And, um, then we're going to solder this into here. And I'll show you how we're going to do that. Alright, so I have this little mini torch. Hopefully it works, because my uh, bigger torch doesn't work. So let's see if we can get this hot enough to get that soldered in. All right, not my best soldering job, but we'll clean it up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we got that all cleaned up. Looks great. Now the next thing we have to do is get this cap and grind that down to make it look like a cap instead of a acorn nut. So I'll be doing that on the grinder.
Let me set that up. All right, so I got a good start. As you can see, it is brass plated, so, uh, but that's good because I wanted it to be steel. So I'll finish grinding that up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so I finished making this from an acorn nut and as you can see, it collapsed. The dome was very, very thin. I couldn't get it to where I wanted it. So um, I ended up making one out of aluminum and I'm actually happier with this because it'll match perfectly with the other side. So it fits on great. So it looks like a round. And I think this is a good point to end this part. And as always, everyone, I really appreciate your views. Um, I appreciate your comments. And I hope you all are having a great day. And we'll see you on part three where we'll finish this up.